Hello everybody, Lila's Gigi here and today we are going to be working on the Jenny Cakes bracelet by Zombie Find Me. It's really cute. Um, she made this for one of her friends birthday. So if you're not following a Zombie Find Me, hop on over to her account and give her a follow. She has some amazing designs and amazing renditions on her account. I mean, look at this. She did that. Isn't that awesome? So um, hop on over to her Instagram account and give her a follow. That would be awesome. Thank you. So today, uh, like I said, we're going to be doing the Jenny Cakes design by Zombie Find Me. Her name is Holly. Very sweet young lady. This is an eight pin bar design. Let me bring that up again. Um, so that means you will need just for a half, um, a half of a bracelet, which you could use for a keychain or a bag tag. Um, you would still need three looms, and you would have two pin bars left over. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make it the way that Holly did, and I believe I'm going to show you how to do the. Um, button enclosure uh, because I know this is not going to fit all the way around my wrist and I think if you want a full loom, um, a full bracelet, sorry my dogs are uh, going crazy here, if you want a full bracelet you can take it all the way to the end but because of the pattern um, you're not going to really be able to adjust it. That's why I'm going to go ahead, let me bring it up here again, that's why I'm going to go ahead and um, make it the way that she did. Uh, she put a different enclosure on the bottom of it. Um, you could probably, mm, I think, I think if you had a one loom length, that you might be able to get two of the um, diamonds out of it. I'm not really sure. So it has taken me a while to do this because it's taken me a while to decide what colors to use. Oh my gosh. I kept waffling back and forth as what colors, and I think I've got it figured out now, so um, I, I will uh, tell you the names of the colors as I'm bringing the bands up, but this is a seven, did I say it was eight? It's a seven pin bar design with all of your pin bars the same height. Make sure when you put it together that all of your arrows are pointing away from you and all of the openings are pointing away from you. So I'm going to go grab my bands. Well, I have my bands here, but I have to grab my beads. So I will be back. Okay, so I'm back and I changed up my bead and band color yet again. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it, it will look good. So first thing you want to do is you want to lay a closure band on the first pin, pin bar, Four. Okay, then we're going to take three out diagonal to the right. And this is Persian white. I'm using Persian white for this. Oh, goodness. Can't even get that on there. And make sure you push your bands down. I think I should stop messing with these. I think I'm going to just have a lot to straighten when I'm done, but that's okay. All right, so. Um, what I'm doing is I'm using two different color beads for this. So my second bead will be blue on the Persian white. And if you hear talking, that's my sister. In the other room, I can hear her really well. Hopefully you can't. Um, she's a little deaf, so she talks really loud. She's on the phone. I know, too much information. All right, so diagonal to the right, diagonal to the right, and then one more diagonal to the right out to the border. Then we're going to go over to the left side and do the exact same thing, just opposite. So I'm going to lay those diagonal to the left. And you don't have to use beads on here if you don't want to. That's quite, quite all right. It's your rendition, and you can make it any way that you want. Okay. Uh, give me just a second here. Got to grab a band with the blue bead on it because that's how I'm making mine. So diagonal to the left. I don't know why I'm having trouble today. It's a little chilly outside. And my hands are cold. 
I can use that as an excuse, right? <laughs> All right? And then one more diagonal to the left. And again, I'm changing the color of my bead. So you can have them all the same color, you can have them different colors, I mean, you know, doesn't matter, just try to coordinate it with your with your bracelet. All right, so I'm gonna go back over to the right. I don't know why I'm doing the right first, but that's okay. So we're gonna complete this, it's gonna be a, a large diamond. So we're gonna go diagonal in to the left. Uh, I need a different color bead. Oops. Diagonal to the left. I must be OCD, like I said. Ugh. Sandy, leave it alone. <laughs> and then diagonal to the center left. Okay. Then we're going to just drop down over here. And we're going to do the exact same thing, just opposite. We're going to bring it in to the center. So diagonal to the right. Diagonal to the right. and diagonal to the right, up to the center. Okay, so I'm going to make three of these. I'm going to go off and do them, and then I will be back, and we're going to lay the border after that. The border is going to be laid between the diamonds. Okay, so it goes on top of the diamonds. All right, so if you're just going to make a... Um, a charm or a bag tag, you can just do two of these. I'm going to go ahead and make three. All right, I will be back with you when I finish mine. Alrighty, so I am back, and this is my third diamond. Let me see if I'm too close. Mm, I don't know. But there's plenty of room up here at the top if you want to make a fourth diamond. Um, I have a feeling, I don't know how tight this is going to be when I loom it up, but I have a feeling it might be a little too big for my wrist. You know, the thing is, is when you're making patterns, you can't really adjust them if they're too long or, or too short. So I would really rather have them too short. So um, that's why I just went ahead and stopped it here. And I was right, if you decide to make just the two diamonds, it stops right here, which is the very top of, I don't know if you can see, but it's the very top of the, um, of the pin bar. So two diamonds is the perfect length for the pin bar. Okay, so this is what this looks like. Hopefully you can see it. I might have to adjust. I know it's funny because when I look at it through my viewfinder, I see this much. But when I play it back, I see about an inch more on either side. So hopefully you're seeing that too. All right, so we're going to lay the border bands, and the border bands are going to be, if you've only done two diamonds, you will just do from here to here, okay? Um, if you've done three, you'll take it all the way up to the point of the other diamond. So, and I have beaded every single one of these. I've used, I'll show you what I've used. So it is this, okay? And that is the Egyptian brown. So you'll take your um, single chain border all the way up, to the point of your last diamond. Okay, I'll do one more on this side and then I'll flip over to the other side. Now usually I do the left hand side first but I don't know why I did, did it this way or the other way when I laid the diamonds. Maybe I was feeling a little dyslexic or something, I don't know. Alright, so where the point of your diamond is is where you're going to start your border band. So. You just lay those single bands straight up. Um, if you want to bead them, you can bead every one, you can bead every other one, or you don't even have to bead any. All right, so go ahead and finish that up. I'm going to go ahead and um, show you how to do the next step. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay the pattern inside the diamond. So you'll do this in, inside each diamond. And I happen to have the black cylindric, so that's what I'm going to use. All right, so we're going to start third pin bar, um, second pin, diagonal out to the right until you get to the end of the diamond. So diagonal to the right, diagonal to the right, and diagonal to the right. That's three bands. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to go up to this next one here, which is your second pin bar, third pin. I'm going to do the exact same thing out to the right, out to the right, and out to the right. All right? Make sure you push your bands down. I'll probably end up pushing mine down further as I add more, but you do want to keep those bands down. All right, so we're going to do the exact opposite now. On the fourth pin bar, second pin, we're going to go diagonal up and to the left three times. And one more. Okay, make sure you push those down. And we're going to go up to the um, sixth, did I say fourth? One, two, three, four, that's actually the fifth. Ah, uh, you'll, you'll figure it out. You can see where I have it here. Oh, sorry about that. All right, so this is the sixth pin bar, third pin up, diagonal, out and to the left. All right, you want to do that in how many ever diamonds you have. You want to put that in the center of your diamonds. I'm going to go off and finish my border up the side, and then I will finish my diamonds, um, this pattern inside my diamonds, and then I will be back with you. Okay, so I'm back, and I finished all the um, pattern in my diamonds, all three of my diamonds, and I looped up my single chains so on my border chains to the point on the outside of the last diamond and the first diamond, and this is what it should look like. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to do um, what I would call four-point starburst, okay? Um, and because I have these blue beads, in here, I'm going to use blue for the center of my starburst. Now these are glitter bands. I, you know what? I don't even know um, what the color is. I don't use them very often, and I didn't. I I don't know if they came out of a mixed pack or what, but they're really pretty. So I'm going to use those. All right. So four point starburst. Um, one thing to remember is that, <coughs> excuse me, before you loop this up, you're going to have to put a cap band in the center of each of your starbursts. So we're going to do a start on pin bar four. Second pin up, we're going to go out to the right, straight down, out to the left, and then straight up. Once I push those down. So straight up. Okay, so that's the first one. And I'm using the same color. I'm going to do pink around and then blue in the center. Your next one will be laid on your third pin bar, third pin. Same thing, out to the right, straight down, to the left, oh, I push those down, to the left, and then straight up. So we're going to be working these from the left to the right. Okay. Your next one is going to start right here. So that is your fifth pin bar, third pin. Band to the right straight down to the left and then straight up. All right, making sure you push those bands down. Now, from here we're going to hop over to the second pin bar, fourth pin up. That's going to be the center of that starburst. Again, same pattern, out to the right, straight down, to the left, and then straight up. Let me catch up with my talking <laughs> to the left and then straight up. Okay, just like that. Now here is where I want the center of my diamond to change color, so I'm going to use that blue. Fourth pin bar, fourth pin up. To the right, straight up and down. Oops, sorry about that, I got them a little off kilter here. I'd like to at least keep them in order. To the left and then straight up. Okay. Your next four point starburst will go right here. And that is your six pin bar, fourth pin. Again, you're going out to the right. You'll go straight up and down. Pushing your bands down. To the left from that center pin and then straight up. Okay. 
No, like I said, I wanted my blue into the center. That's why I changed that. So, I mean, you could have each of these four-point starburst different colors if you wanted. It's whatever you want to make your design out to be. All right, so the next place we're going to start and lay a starburst is going to be your third pin bar, fifth pin up. You go out to the right, down from that center, from that pin, pushing your bands down to the left and straight up. Okay, now we're going to jump over to this one. That is your fifth pin bar, fifth pin. You go out to the left, down from that center. I said left and oh. So you'll go out to the right, straight down, to the left, and then straight up. Okay, pushing them down. Now we have one more to lay, and that will be this one right here. We'll start right there. So that is your fourth pin bar, sixth pin up. I'm using the same pink. I'll go out to the right. There we go, out to the right. Straight down from that pin to the left without a crooked band, and then straight up. Okay? Now, um, I'm looking and I think um, you could probably put these on now. So let's go just go ahead and, and I'm going to go ahead and add some of them. So to the center where they come out for four, I'm going to put cat bands. You want to make sure that you put cat bands on all of your starburst, and I'm using triple. So I'm just going to go up wherever I can see that they've crossed there. If it's easier to lay the um, cap bands after you've done the starburst, by all means go ahead and do that because you don't want to miss them. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. You'll, you'll be able to get it. So there's one here. There will be one here and one here. So I'm going to go off and I'm going to finish those. Rewind, oops, rewind if you have to. I'm going to do this to all three of my um, diamonds. <clears throat> and then I will be back with you. I'm not, I'll have to double check and see if we need to lay anything else. Um, we might not have to. We might be looming up, but I will let you know when I come back. So go ahead, lay your four point starburst, cap each and every one of them, and then I will be back with you when I finish mine. Alrighty, so I am back, and the last thing I did was I laid this four point starburst up here and I put cap bands on all my starburst. You'll have a cap band here, 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 three of them across the center here, two here, and one here on each of your diamonds. Alright, so yet again I changed up my color. I'm hoping that this is all going to go well because it's kind of, I kind of have springy colors in there. I'm going to use um, the peridot. I believe that's what this color is. So we're going to lay triangles up the sides starting at the furthest point of your diamond. Okay, so you're going to lay it sort of like a, I'm going to do, whoops, wait a minute, I'm sorry, that is not correct. Not correct. I'm going to start here, it will go up here, and then it, you'll bring it across. Okay, the other one is going to be the opposite of this. And I'm just laying them like this because I want to keep them straight. So you'll put your band straight up and then you will bring it down. So it looks like a large diamond when it's just two diamonds. Okay? Easiest thing for me, so lay your diamonds any way you can. Um, diamonds, oh my gosh. Lay your triangles any way you can. The easiest thing for me for laying triangles, and I'll do a couple of them, is to take my bands and lay them straight up. Just like that. Okay. And once I get those done, I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did down here. This one is going to go across here, and this one is going to be attached to that same peg. All right, so that it looks like a large triangle. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side using my method. 
Again, lay it any way that's comfortable for you. Sorry, losing bands here. And I'll just do that twice. You can rewind if you have to. Um, that's fine. I don't mind being rewound. <laughs> okay. So the first one, your triangle is going to go across this way. So I just reach in, grab it, and lay it. The next one is going to be the exact opposite to where it looks like a large triangle. I'm going to go up and grab my other one, put it right here, grab this one, and put it right there. Okay, however you need to do it, do your triangles all the way up and make sure you push your bands down. Do them all the way up to the last point of your diamond on the outside here on the border. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish off mine, and I will be back with you when I'm done, and we'll do the next step. Alrighty, so I am back, and this is what my loom looks like. I have my triangles that end up looking like big triangles on the side. That's actually two triangles. Okay, so this is what it looks like. All right, now this part might be a little tricky, but just follow along with me. Hopefully I got it correctly. So you have two triangles here. Start on the right hand side. We're going to go, so that's one, two, three, I can't even count. Five pins up on your seventh pin bar. We're going to lay zigzags. So one, and we're not going to lay it all the way up to the top, so that's why I need you to pay attention. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, seventh pin bar, fifth pin, so diagonal to the left. Diagonal to the right, diagonal to the left, and diagonal to the right. Okay, I will lay these with you. All right. Hmm. I don't even think I was on camera. All right, so again, seventh pin bar, fifth pin, diagonal to the left, to the right, to the left, and to the right, and stop there. All right. Uh, if you laid all three of these, we're going to repeat that same same pattern. Okay, so where your diagonal is on uh, meets here, you're, that's not where you're going to start. Okay, that is not where you're going to start. You're going to start right above where it meets. So, um, so your first big triangle that you have. Um, to the right of your diamond, that is where you're going to start. You're going to start in the center of that. So diagonal to the left, diagonal to the right, grab some more bands, diagonal to the left, and diagonal to the right. Okay? And then we're going to repeat that exact same thing on the other side and pushing your bands down. Alright, so it should be easier because now you can see where you have them laid. All right, this will be your first pin bar, fifth pin. You're going to lay uh, four. So first pin bar, fifth pin, you're going to lay four diagonals, starting from that pin bar, diagonal to the right, diagonal to the left, diagonal to the right, and diagonal to the left. And it should be the exact opposite of what you have on the other side. Can you see that? Make sure you push those down. All right, so let's go up. If you've done three of them, let's go up and, and finish this again. And I will count it this time. Three, six, nine, ten, eleventh pin bar. I'm sorry, eleventh pin, first pin bar. That is one pin above where your diamond is meeting the border, All right? Diagonal out to the right, to the left, to the right, and to the left. And that will be that for that one, okay? Give me a moment, I'm gonna take a look at um, the flippogram. I just felt like I needed to do that with you, so you know, we had them in the right spot. All right, well, I'm going to take another look at the flippogram and see what next, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and what we're going to do on the second pin bar, we're going to start up 
<clears throat> where your diamond is, second pin bar, so that's three, five up, you're going to lay three, I mean single, single chains, one, two, three, and there will be four of them. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Well, let's, let's do this first. So then you're going to skip over this diamond, where your diamond is right here. You're going to skip over that and then lay four more. And this is for those of you who've laid three of the diamonds, just like I did. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, I'm going to do that on the other side. Skipping over your diamond. So in my case, it's pink. So we're going to lay four chains straight up. Skip over the next diamond and lay four chains straight up. Rewind if you have to. Um, I'm actually going to have to go off um, and take another look at the flippogram for the next band placement and make sure I get it right. And the reason why I do that is that I want to make sure that I am following the pattern to a T. You know, it's somebody else's design and I want to make sure that it's correct. So that's why you see me go away and then come back. I mean, if it were your design, you would want me to do it, right? <laughs> All right, so we're going to lay four bands up here. Again, we're skipping over the diamond, and now we are on the sixth pin bar. And I'm sorry, I don't know if I told you that that was a sixth pin bar, but it is for those single chains going straight up. There will be four of them. One, two, three, and four. All right, so I'm going to go off. I'm going to study the flippogram. Um, I think I know, I think I got it, but I just have to double check, okay, because now we're going to be laying, uh, in this section, we need to make sure that these things are actually attached, otherwise this bracelet will fall apart, all right? So I'm going to go off, I'm going to take another look at that, gosh, I'm hoping these colors are going to turn out okay. I kind of wanted, you know, the blue and the pink for flowers, and then the yellow, I don't know, for springy, and then I wanted to tie in the green for leaves and then the brown for um, stems. So I'm hoping that this is going to be good when I finish it. But right now, this is what we have. All right, so I'm going to come back and I'm going to, we're going to work these sections here. So finish it up if you haven't and just bear with me. Thanks. Alrighty, so I am back and I laid the single chains in between the diamonds for both of my sections. All right, so now, now what we're going to do is we're going to work the open area, okay? We have those four single chains right here that we laid, and then we have this open area here that we have to close up. So what we're going to do, and I'm, I'll show you for each section. This is two, four, six. One, two, three. Okay, so second pin bar, six pins up. You'll lay a band straight across. Just like this. So you'll do that three times. Oh, throw that down, that's crooked. Oops, one, two, and three. So one, two, and three. Okay? Now from here, what you're going to do is where you laid your first cross band, you're going to take a single chain up and you're going to do that twice. Okay? All right. So then from here, we're going to lay two triangles and that will close this section up. <clears throat> so where your first band is that you laid of those two bands, you're going to take your band up and then lay your triangle just like that. Goodness, I'm on Instagram and some um, collabs for nails and they're talking. <laughs> so the other one will just be the exact opposite. Okay, so it ends up looking like a large triangle. So my first triangle went from here to here to here. My second triangle went from here to here to here. I'm gonna do that exact same thing on the other side. And then if you would um, go ahead, rewind if you have to, and do the other open area that's up here, if you laid three of them, 
just rewind it's a, it's the exact same step okay so we have these four bands here I'm going to start at where the first two meet okay band straight across band straight across and band straight across okay and where those three bands are I'm going to connect them with single chains so one straight up one straight up and make sure you push your your bands down okay the last part of this is going to be triangles that go from like this and like this okay so and if you're in doubt look at the one that you did on the other side okay so what we need to do is connect this center here so these bands stay together so that will be your first triangle okay and this will be your second triangle is that right yes that will be your second triangle so it kind of looks like a butterfly right so you've got two although there are four triangles here it looks like two big ones all right and so that's what this should look like straightening bands again I probably should just straighten them off camera or just leave them alone I think I'm a little OCD that way so I apologize all right so I'm gonna go off and take a look and make sure that I've gotten everything I believe that those are the last steps <clears throat> oh wait a minute while we're here I was wrong yet again what did I do with my pink okay so let's back up a second Rewind if you have to and fill in those gaps. Okay, on both sides. And I'm going to do mine up here. But in the meantime, what we're going to need to do, um, once you finish that, come back. And what we're going to do is we're just going to lay single bands all the way up. This, um, I said all the way up. I lied. We're going to follow the diamond. Okay, so you're actually laying a double border on the diamond it looks like okay so just follow it around until it meets just like this on this side and then we'll go over to the other side and do the exact same thing just follow the um, pattern of your diamond okay and you will do that all the way up to the end of your loom and then I believe this is the last band placement all right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish mine. I'm going to finish filling in the um, empty spots and um, I'm going to finish my diamond placement. I'm sorry, that wasn't even on camera, but you, you can see it goes from here to here and then back to here. So you want to lay those diamonds. All right, I will be back with you as soon as I finish mine. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing. Alrighty, so I am back and I laid the double border and this is what it should look like. Alright, so it's time to flip this baby around. Flipping, flipping, flipping. I know, keep my day job, can't sing. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a cat band right down here. Get it off of my nails, they do get in the way. <laughs> and what we want to do is we want to reach in through that cat band Let's see which one is on first. Mine that's on the right is first. Yours might be on the left. If it is, that's okay. You just want to make sure that you take... Whoops. Come on. Sometimes I have trouble getting through there. Sometimes you want to take the one that's... Always want to take the one that's on top. And we're going to just... We're just going to loop back that diamond. Okay just back to itself all the way up to the top. All right, so I'm going to go on the other side here. I'm going to reach in through everything and grab the first band that's available. Should be the one that is diagonal to the left. And loop all of your diamond pattern back to itself all the way up to the top. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and finish mine and then I will meet you back here when I'm done. And that would be my husband banging on my window. <laughs> I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I am back and I looped up all of my um, diamond, the, the top diamond pattern. Now, just so you know, when I got to here, I did the right side first, 
I dropped back down and I did the left side and then I did the right side and the left side. Um, same way I laid it. Hey, 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 stop. Susie! <laughs> My dog doesn't care that I'm doing a video here. <laughs> she doesn't care at all. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work this open section. Susie, out, out. We're going to work this open section that we have where we lead the triangles, the two bands up, and then the three bands across. So what you want to do is where your diamonds meet, you're going to reach in and you're going to grab that top triangle. You'll have to go through um, some bands, but that's okay. Grab that top triangle and just loop it straight across from where the center is. You're going to go in and grab the next triangle, which should be this, this one right here. And we're going to loop that back to that same pin. Okay? We'll do the other side in a minute. I just want to get this section finished first. Then we're going to reach... Okay. So that was the um, triangle. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to loop up. And you'll have to go through some bands. If I can. I'm hoping that's my triangle. It needs to be out of the way. All right. And I'm going to grab, well, maybe, I'm going to try to grab the band that goes, I'm going to have to move this out of my way. I'm going to try to grab the band that goes straight up, okay, because that's the band that you want to, I'm just moving this triangle out of my way because I can't seem to get it, okay, and then loop it straight up. And then, because your single band actually is on the bottom down here. Okay, so let's see if I can get it right this time. Okay, grab the single band that goes straight up. And that was not it. <laughs> okay, wiggle jiggle time. I'm going to do the same thing that, oops, get back, get back off of me. I pulled that off. All right, so that was the one that went straight up. I'm going to move my triangle band. I'm going to just hold it and move it out of the way so it makes it easier for me to go in and grab that band that goes straight up. Well, I'm hoping it will anyway. And it did. And that goes straight up. Okay. Now what we're going to do in this same section here, maybe I should get a little bit closer. My apologies. I'll do the other side and I'll, I'll do it closer. Now we're going to loop up these three single bands that go across and they're going to just go back to themselves. So you have to go through everything until you get that single band and loop it back to itself. Go in and grab the next one. It should be on the bottom and loop it back to it. Well, come on. Loop it back to itself. And then the third one, we're going to go in Grab that diag uh, that band that goes across. Is that not it? That is it. Okay. Um, this one is a little tight because we have this on here. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a little wiggle jiggle so that it pops out like it's supposed to. All right, I'm going to do the, so you'll do that for, if you have the other section, you'll do the exact same thing up here. You can rewind on that if you want. But I'm going to go over to the right-hand side, and let's make sure I, hopefully have this centered and you can see it. <clears throat> so up the center, first thing we're going to work on are these triangles that we played here, that played, placed here. That's these triangles right here. I'm going to go into the center. I'm going to grab the, moving the bands out of the way, I'm going to grab that first triangle and I'm going to just bring it straight across, just to the one pin. Okay. I'm going to go in and grab the other triangle. I believe it is this one and I'm going to loop it over to the right. Just the single pin. You're not looping the triangle back to itself. Just a single pin. Okay, once we've taken care of those triangles, we're going to go in and we're going to do these single bands and they're below that triangle that are on the bottom. Okay? So I'm going to go in past that triangle band and grab the band that goes, hopefully, straight up. And that was it. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to go in past 
Well, let's see. I want to just move this down so I know. They're a little, um, they're together a little bit. So I believe that's the, sometimes you just have to move them until you can find what you're looking for. Okay. And that's it. See how it kind of got it to be a little teardrop? Going right there. Oh, you know what? All right, well, let me let me fix it over here, and then we'll go back over to the left side. Oh. All right, so now we're going to work these bands right here. But I just remembered that in... So you'll have to go through everything until you can get that band. Okay. So my apologies. I just remembered. Instead of putting it back to itself, you will have to span it across to the border. Otherwise, we would have had two bands across here. So let me go in, grab that last band that's on here, the one that goes across, the cross band, bring it over here and span it to the border. To my apologies on the other, other side there. I'm going to go in, grab that cross band, and I'm going to have to use my fingers, so I apologize, to pull that out of the way, and span it to the border across the band that it's attached to to the border. So my apologies. Let's go back over to the other side and fix this. It's an easy fix though over here. We're just going to these are the three cross bands. One, two, and three. We're just going to grab the top band and bring it out to the border. So just like this. So my apologies. My apologies. So if you did two of them you can rewind and, um, I'm sorry, if you did three of the, let me back it out a little bit, it's kind of close. If you did three diamonds, you're still going to have more sections to do, another section up here. And if you did four diamonds, you're going to have two more sections to do. So I'm going to go ahead and finish mine. Please rewind if you have to. If you have any questions and I haven't answered, uh, haven't shown you this properly, or you still a little confused, please let me know. So I'm going to go off, I'm going to finish mine, and then we'll be back with the next step. Alrighty, so I am back, and this is what my loom looks like. Alright, so the next step that we're going to do is we're going to work these, this open section. Not, the, not in the diamonds, but in the open section, the outside section. We laid four bands up this... Um, second pin bar. So where you've laid those four bands, we're going to loop them back to each other. Get out of there. I'm just going to go in, grab that band, loop it up, go in, grab the next band. You'll have to, might have to fish through to get the bands, but that's okay. All right. So what we're doing is we're actually going through this band that we stretched across the three that spans those three pins. So we're going to go in. Oh, come on, Sandy. Grab the single band that goes straight up. Loop it up, and you'll know you'll have this kind of a um, teardrop shape. And go in and find the next band that goes straight up, and bring it straight up. Okay. So from there. So that's four single chains straight up. Okay. Now we have these zigzag bands. We're going to go ahead and work those two. I'll work those out this side and then we'll go over to the other side. So what we're going to do from the uh, second pin bar where you have the zigzags that come together. I probably should have used a different color so you could see them better, but we started here. We have a zigzag that goes here, 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 and here. There's four of them. They're going to come out from the second pin bar going to go in, grab it, and loop it out to the border. So looping it back to itself. But you will be going into the second pin bar to do that. Okay, here's my other set of zigzags right here. I'm going to go in here, reach in, grab the zigzag that goes diagonally down, loop it back, go in and grab the zigzag that goes up and loop it back. Right, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. If you did more than two diamonds, just rewind and repeat this above. Okay? And hopefully, I'm trying to make sure I get all this in frame. Alright, so now we're working on the sixth 
pin bar. We have these single chains that go up. There's four of them. Okay, we're going to loop them back to themselves. So you go into your first one and loop it straight up. Go in, grab the next one and loop it straight up. Go in, it should be the one that's on top. Do I, let me see. It's hard for me to see. I've got so much green in here. Eek, 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 eek. Okay. Loop it straight up. And you'll go in and grab the next one and loop it straight up. And you'll know if it's right. See the way the shape of the band is. Okay, they're sort of like teardrops. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing we did on the other side. We're going to work these zigzags right here. There's like two sets of them, just four bands. Again, you're still working from the sixth pin bar. You're going to go in where those two zigzags meet, and you're going to take them back to themselves, back to the border. All right, so there's one. This is the last one on here, so it should be easy to find. Okay, looping it back out to the border. We're going to go to where the other set of zigzags are, which is right here where they meet. I'm going to reach in, grab the zigzag that goes diagonally down, loop it back. And again, you can tell because of the shape of the band when I loop it back. And then the last one on there, and loop it back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go off and finish mine because I have another set to do. Um, if you don't, then you can fast forward, and if you do, then you can rewind. All right, I will be back. Alrighty, so I am back, and I looped out from here the um, zigzag bands, and from here the zigzag bands. All right, so now what we have left on here are the triangle bands. They start right here at your point. It's one triangle, and then the other triangle. So we're going to go from the second pin bar where those triangles meet. So just so you can see, it's one, two, three up from the end of this, uh, the, this side of that triangle. Okay, so we're going to go in. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. I don't want to get too close because then it gets a little, you can't see everything. All right, so we're going to move this band back and grab the triangle. And we're going to loop it straight out to the border like we did before. The triangles are not getting looped as a full triangle. So you're going to go in and take that second triangle and do the exact same thing. Loop it just like that. Okay. Now our next set of triangles, it's a little hard to see, they're not in there. This is all looped up in here, I can tell. Next set of triangles are these that are right here. Just making sure there's one triangle right here, and the other triangle is right here. All right, so I'm going to go up, go in. I'm just double checking, sorry. Yeah. I'm going to go through the bands and grab the triangle and loop it straight across. You'll see how this pulls out like this? That is that triangle. We're just looping it out. I'm going to go in and get the last one that's on there. That's the other part of that, the other triangle, and we're looping it back. All right. There are three sets of triangles on here. Okay. I'm going to go up to where this side of this other diamond meets. You have a triangle from here to here to here, and from here to here to here. Okay, that's where the two triangles meet. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. That's one of them. And this is the other. So we're going to go in through everything, grab that triangle band right here, and loop it straight across. You can see how it, it pulls like this. That is that triangle. Okay, and just loop it straight across. Going into that same band, grabbing that second triangle, and looping it in the same spot. So it pulls out just like that. Okay, I'm going to do that on the other side with you just to make sure that I don't, you know what, 
I'm looking and there oh that's the top sorry that's the next section I'm like there's another triangle there but that's the next section rewind if you have to if you've got more than one um, more than two diamonds on here all right so <clears throat> This is the side of your triangle, the upper right-hand side of your triangle. Three pins up. That's where your two triangles should actually meet. Okay? Going to go in, grab that first triangle, and loop it straight across. Does that look right? Mm, yeah. Straight across. Going to go in and grab that next triangle and loop it straight across just like that okay our next set of triangles are right here in this pin and that pin I'm gonna count from I'm not gonna count from the bottom but one two three four five this is the fifth pin up from here okay that's where you should have two triangles meeting I'm gonna go in I'm just double checking. Like I said, I should have used um, a different color for these triangles for the tutorial, but I didn't. Just loop it back out. Grab this triangle and loop it back out to the border, pushing those down. Okay? And I don't, then my next set of triangles will be right here. Okay? where this, to the side of this diamond. I just am trying to explain this so that I don't get mess, I don't mess you up. I'm gonna reach in, grab that triangle band, and bring it straight across from this pin. There's one more triangle on there. We're gonna reach in, grab that band, and loop it straight across. Okay, I'm going to go off and finish mine. Rewind if you have to, um, and I will be back. All right, see you in a moment. All righty, so I am back, and just so you know, there are three sets of triangles in here. So there should be, they should be looped back to this one, back to this one, and back to this one. Okay? So, just didn't want to confuse anybody, and I wanted to make sure that you got them, because if you didn't, it very well could cause your bracelet to fall apart. And if you've come this far, you don't want it falling apart. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to loop up the starburst. We're going to start right here. Center. Going to go in, grab the first one on top, should be, let's see here, I would just want to make sure. Should be the one that goes down. So go in. Oh, wait, I lied. Did I lie? Did I tell a fib? Nope. Okay. So you're going to go through your cat band, grab the one that goes straight up and down, and loop it back to itself. <coughs> and all of these starbursts are going from right, like counterclockwise. Okay, your next one will be the one to the right. Your one that goes straight up. And the one that goes to the left. All right, so that's one. Now we're going to go up. This is the center of your other four point starburst. We're going to go in, grab the band that goes down to the bottom, loop it back to itself. The band that goes to the right loop it back, one that goes straight up, loop it straight up, one that goes to the left, loop it out to the left. Okay. I'm going to slip over to here and do these starbursts. So your first starburst you'll have one, next you'll have two, then you'll have three, then you'll have two, and then you'll have one. <coughs> All right. So you're going to go in, grab your band that goes up and down. So I'll just go through all of these with you. I'll do all of them. I probably won't tell you to loop to the right, loop to the left, because by this time you should have a pretty good idea how to loop these back. Okay. All right. 
and push them down. I'll probably end up pushing all these down when I'm finished. Okay, so now we're at the section where the longest point of your diamond. Your second pin bar is where your starburst should be. So you'll go in through all three bands. Grab the one that goes up and down. Oh, look it, it came off. My guy came off. All right, easy enough fixed. Gonna put him back on. One, two, and three. What happened, I think, was I got caught on this band right here. So just be careful. All right, let's try this again. Looping it down. Going out to the right, straight up, and to the left. Oops. Okay. So your next starburst would be the center one. In my case, it's blue. These are really stretchy bands. Okay. Straight up and to the left. And you're going to want to do this for all of your starbursts. Hopefully you did put your cat bands on. If not, you can do it now. Going through my cat band, grabbing the one that goes up and down, and you just loop everything, each band that's on top, you loop it back to itself. Oops. I have to keep checking to make sure I'm in frame, sorry. Okay, and that's the last of those. Whoops, what did I just do? Sandy. Y'all see that? I grabbed, I went into the wrong spot. All right. I could hear you out there screaming, no, no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> All right, let me get that back in order. All right, so now that we've done the three, we're going to go up and do the two. And then you'll have one left after this. Grabbing the band that's on top. Always grab the band that's on top and then loop it back to itself. I mean, if you laid these the other way, going clockwise would not be a big deal because they are starburst after all. <coughs> Excuse me. And after this, I think we have three... Um, Three more steps. We have to loop up the pattern and we have to loop up the other outside diamond border and then the single chains up the side. Yay! We're almost done ladies and gentlemen. I know it's it's a long time but I just always feel like I have to be thorough especially in this kind of a design. Okay. And if you don't you know if you know what you're doing of course you can skip to the next step. That's perfectly fine. All right, so I have one starburst left in this diamond. And I am going to finish looping it up. And then I have three more di uh, two more diamonds to do. So I'm going to go off and do my diamonds. And then I will be back with you for the next step. Okay? So this is what your diamond should look like with all of your starbursts looped up. And make sure that you push your bands down. So that's what that should look like. All right, I will be back when I finish mine. All right, everybody, I'm back. And as you can see, I have looped these up already. I'm going to loop it up in the next diamond. I didn't want to take it apart. Um, I wasn't recording. Yay, yay me. <laughs> but I am now. So where you're, just so just forget this and just pretend that this is the bottom of your diamond, okay? We're going to start with the right hand side. I don't know if you can see them very well. I don't know what the lighting is like, but th these are the bands that go diagonal that are the pattern inside your diamond that we're going to work on. So we're going to do the first set, and I believe that's the one that goes to the left. I want to just double check and yeah, that is my band that is on the top. Okay, they're all going to get looped back to themselves. So you're going to go in, grab that band 
and loop it back to itself. Okay, I'll push those down. Now these up here are going to be a little tight, so I'm going to use my fingers, but I'm going to go in through my colored bands until I find, uh, let me do it this way, until I find my black band. Oh, come on, Sandy, you can do this. I think it's this one. That's what it looked like. And I'm only pulling this out far enough to where I can get my fingers on it because I do not want it to break. But as you can see, it's, again, you know, kind of a diamond shape. So you know you've done it correctly and you've got the right band. I'm going to reach in and grab the next one that should be on top, should be this diagonal to the left. I'm going to pull it out just enough to grab it and attach it. Okay, that's one set. We're going to do this set right here. There's another one that goes diagonal. Okay, so if where your diamond is up here, if you drop down, that's where that band that goes diagonal should be. All right, so I'm going to reach in. I'm going to grab that band. And the first one is pretty loose, so I don't need my fingers for that. I'm going to go in where I just dropped that one off. Grab the top band, which hopefully is the right one, and I'm always praying that it is. I'm going to grab my fingers, and it is. You can see how it looped out properly. Okay, and then there's one more in here. I'm going to go in, grab that band. I believe that's the right one. Pulling it out just far enough to where I can grab my fingers around it. My fingers. My fingers. I'm from the south, y'all. <laughs> anyway, grab it with my fingers. All right, so we've done those two diagonals here for the pattern. Now we're going to drop down and do the other two diagonals. Bottom of your diamond should be the next one up and diagonal to the left. That is where your pattern band should be. Going to reach in, grab that band, and loop it to itself. Sorry, I was just checking to make sure this thing was recording. <laughs> Going to go in. This should be the last one on here now. Again, you can see that's kind of tight. I don't want to break it, so I'm going to just use my fingers to pull it up. And go in and grab the next one. Should be the last one on there. Using my fingers, bringing it back to itself. I have one more strip to do right here. Going to go in, find it, grab it, and loop it back to itself. Now this band should be the last one on the bottom, but as you can see, again, it's pretty tight, so I'm going to pull it with my fingers, my ph phalanges. There we go. And then there's one more. Grabbing the band off the bottom, going through everything, and attaching it. And that's what your pattern should look like. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go off and finish mine, and I believe we have two steps left. We have to loop up the diamond. Well, you know what? I've done two, so I'm going to pause me if you have to and go ahead and do yours. I'm going to go ahead and start. This, this tutorial is already really, really long. Um, so I wanted to tell you that I thought I was going to put um, a button uh, closure on this. In this tutorial, uh, it is super long, so I am not going to do that. Um, Artisan Loom shows you how to make that button enclosure. It, I'm calling it an enclosure. That button closure for a bracelet. Go ahead and take a look at um, at her website and um, and get that off of there. If I can remember, I will link how to do the button closure that she has posted uh, down below in the box, okay? So, what did I, I'm still talking. Why are you still talking, Sandy? All right, so, so the next thing we're going to do um, is reach in. We're actually going to loop. All right, let me back up a second. Finish your inside pattern in your diamonds. Okay, once you finish that, come back and we're going to loop up the border. Well, not the border yet, but we're going to loop up 
the bottom um, diamond pattern. Okay, well, let's just get this started. It's the last one on here. And I don't, let's see. I didn't look, but I don't think it's really going to matter if you actually loop up the, um, the border with this. I'm going to just take a look as when I get to the end because I didn't, mm, I was a bad girl, I didn't get a chance to look at that because it's pretty simple, right? So my guess is that the border is on on the top. I'll turn this, you can't see because my hand is in the way. Turn this this way. The border band is my brown band and that band is on top of the diamond pattern. So, makes sense to loop up, if I can get in there and get it, to loop up the border when you once you've come to the end of your first side of your diamond and I'm using my fingers because it looks like it's pretty tight in there okay all right so I'm gonna loop my border and just leave it right there for for the time being then I'm gonna go in and grab the other piece not the other piece but <clears throat> the last thing that's on that band oh, band Little, I'm getting tired, I'm, my apologies. The last band that was on this hook was this band right here. All right, I'm gonna go in, grab the last band on that peg, and I said hook, see I can't even talk, and loop it back to itself. I'm gonna go over and do the same thing here, and loop it back. And then I'm gonna stop right there. Then I'm going to finish this up, so I'm gonna go in, I'm going to grab the border band, because that is the next one that's available that needs to be looped up. And I know mine is brown. I can get in there and get it. There we go. Oops, I didn't get through that. Uh, sometimes you have to go to the side to get what you want. Okay, and I'm going to loop that up. Then I'm going to reach in and grab the bottom band and loop it. Maybe. There we go. Just got stuck. Loop it back up going in, grabbing the bottom band, which should be your border. I'm going to use my fingers for this again and loop it back. Go in, grab that band using my fingers because there are a lot of bands on there, okay, and looping it back. Let me see about this border. So anyway, that's what you would do is you would do one side well, whichever side goes first, mine happened to be the left side. Loop that up, loop your border band, and then finish looping the diamond. Okay, loop this side up, loop that first border band, and then finish looping the diamond. Okay, so let me just um, decide Okay, so let me go over here. I'm going to finish looping up this border. And they're pretty tight, and these are pretty good bands, so hopefully they won't break. Okay, because I, I want to see, once I get up there, what I need to do. And I don't want to forget to loop these. So I'm going to loop this right to this. Okay. And I think it will be okay. Forgive me, Holly, if it's not. Okay. And because I did that, um, I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to stop right at that point of the diamond. I'm going to go over here to the other side and do the exact same thing. I'm just going to loop it straight up. Just like so. Come on. Hopefully I'm still on camera. Sorry, this thing is crooked. I'm, I'm holding it down really tight. And one more. Okay. 
And then I'm going to, once I've done that, I'm going to drop down, do this part of the diamond, bring my um, border band up, and then finish the diamond. And then finish these all the way up to the point of my other diamond. Hopefully that made sense. Um, God, sometimes I confuse myself even, so I apologize if it did not make sense. Try that one more time. And you know what? You could probably loop your border bands all the way up anyway. Um, I don't think that's going to hurt a thing. So if you want, you can loop your border bands first and then loop Loop your border bands first, the ones that are going straight up and down, and then loop your diamonds. That should be okay. All right. So I'm going to go off. I'm going to finish mine, and then I will be back um, with the bracelet off of the loom. Okay, because I believe I've gotten everything. I've got to finish my uh, pattern in this diamond, and then loop up the outside. All right, hopefully you guys got that. You were able to rewind that I made sense. I'll be back in just a moment. All righty, so I am back, and I've actually taken most of this off of here. But what I want you to not forget is to reach in and grab that closure band that you put on here earlier. And grab it. Go through all the bands on that pin and grab it because we have to secure this. I'm going to give it a tug with my fingers because there's a lot of lot of bands in there. Now, at this point, you can put a C-clip on here, but if you've seen my tutorials, you know that C-clips and I don't get along, so I'm going to just use my um, plastic safety pin here, and it's secure. It's caught all of the bands that are on there. They're all caught. Okay. This bracelet, you want to make sure that you do not rip it off do not rip it off of the um, loom. Very carefully lift those bands off. Okay? Very carefully. We're going to go down here and lift these. Okay. And hopefully the colors that I used will come out right. I don't know. So you can go straight across or you can go ahead and take the rest of the sides off here. Can you even see what I'm doing? Goodness. Just very carefully lift them. And then lift the other side. Just to release some of that tension. And yeah, very carefully. All right. So and then I'm going to just go ahead and I probably can't see very well. It looks like I've got some shadows on my um, in my camera. But that's okay. This has been a long time coming, and Holly, I apologize for not getting it out sooner, but I just couldn't decide what I wanted to do. Could not decide. All right, so I'm going to put that loom down there on the floor because I have new room here. Oh, look. You know what? I, I'm liking this. I may, I probably should have used or could have used a different color in here like Holly did for the pink, but I'm loving that green on the outside. And oh my gosh, do I ever have a lot of bands to fix. So I'm stretching it. Still very pretty. Very pretty. And as you can see, there's no way that this is going to fit my wrist. Okay. So... Um, actually, I think I might have a closure that will fit in here. And again, I'm going to put Trish's um, button closure instructions down below in the box so that you can click on that if you decide that's what you want to do. So I have a lot of bands, a lot of bands to fix. But that actually turned out really cute. Really cute. Again, I'm not super happy with the um, Egyptian white, I believe that's what they were, um, no, Persian white bands here, but I think it still turned out nice. What do you think? 
Hmm? All right, well, this is Jenny Cakes, the Jenny Cakes Cuff, designed by Zombify Me. She is on Instagram, and she also has Flipagram, and I think it's under Holly, H-O-L-L-I-E, but I don't remember. I'm sure if you looked up the name of the bracelet that you'd be able to find it. Um, I am Lila's Gigi on Instagram, and Lila's Gigi Two Words on um, YouTube. If you stumbled across me by accident and you like what you see, please, by all means, subscribe to my channel. Um, do you know I say that, but you don't have to subscribe to my channel. You can still, you know, find the designs in my bracelets um, <clears throat> and tutorials um, just by looking up the name or looking me up. Um, but it would be nice to have the subscribers. I think that shows love. I subscribe to many, 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 many channels. I'm still stretching this. I'm trying to stretch it so that I don't have too many bands to fix, but I can see that I'm going to. And I don't know if you can see, but the because she put a double border in here, it kind of makes this diamond sit up a little bit. Can you see that? I hope so. Beautiful design, Holly. Beautiful design, seven pins. And I would tell you how wide it is, but I don't know where my um, tape measure is. You can see here, look at my fingers. Three fingers wide, about three fingers wide. So it is, a, it is definitely a cuff. Definitely a cuff. Or two and a half fingers. I've got fat fingers, so we'll say three fingers wide. Thank you so very much for watching. Again, if you liked the tutorial and want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. really would appreciate it. And as always, be kind.